Welcome back. The deliciousness is in the details. Today is Popcorn Lovers Day, which is a celebration of all those people who love the buttery snack. If you're looking to munch on some of that tasty treat today, look no further than Cornivore Popcorn. We're joined this morning by Cornivore Popcorn co-founder Robert Mendez, finding out more about the company and mm -hmm. how they take their flavors to the next level. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Talk to us about Cornivore Popcorn. How did you get uh, your start? Well, we started about eight years ago, um, kind of out of desperation, actually. We were use looking for something to make some extra money on the side, and I'm a popcorn lover. You know, I call myself a cornisseur. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so, really, we just started doing a little kettle corn on the side, and then I really saw an opportunity to bring a real upper-level, top-shelf popcorn to the market. And so we started experimenting with some different things. And during that experimentation, you know, my wife had just had had a stroke okay. probably a few years before that. And when she kind of came out of that, her body was really rejecting artificial flavors. So corn syrup was one thing she couldn't eat. So we had to create popcorn without corn syrup and nobody cooks popcorn without corn syrup. Right. So we had to create a whole new process to do that. And in that process, we created this amazing new flavor of popcorn, this, this, this whole style that's just completely taken everybody by storm. Um, and you brought some popcorn with yeah. you this morning. You guys, I can, it's in plastic containers, but I can smell the popcorn. It smells so good. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what you brought with you today. So one of our number one flavors, this is, this is actually our first flavor that we came out with okay. uh, eight years ago. Uh, sweet green chili. We were looking for a green chili flavored popcorn, right? And so we came out with that eight years ago. And since then, we've had 50 flavors. It's still number one. Today. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, there's no corn syrup in it. Um, it's really light. It's really crunchy. It's, it won't stick to your teeth. And so we use specific kind of corn kernels. We use a specific kind of oil. All of our seasonings are made in-house. So really, we control everything that goes in it. So we, you know, we know, we kind of took the flavors that were already out there and we reverse engineered them, got rid of all the junk and just made it the way we wanted it. And Logan just pointed something out to me and I noticed it earlier was, is there like an Animal Crackers popcorn Yeah, a Circus that Animal Cookies. Too? Yeah, this one right here. Okay. Our number one chocolate flavor, actually. Okay. It's a, it's a kettle corn, and what we do is we completely coat it with white chocolate, and then we put the sprinkles on there, and when it, when it cools off, it tastes exactly like circus Ooh. animal cookies. Perfect for an Easter basket right Absolutely. there with the pastel yeah. colors. Um, so talk to us about Popcorn Lover's Day. Okay. Well, popcorn has its own day. You know, mm -hmm. National Popcorn Day, January 19th. Popcorn has its own month in October, but popcorn lovers don't have their own day except for today, right? Okay. So this is a celebration of people, right? People who love popcorn, people who are just obsessed with the snack. This snack has been popular, probably a number one snack for over 100 years. So we're here to celebrate it. We're here, here to celebrate people who love popcorn. And so we're running some half-off specials in our shop today for that. Okay, very cool. And where can people find more information on Cornivore Popcorn if they want to stop in or pick up some popcorn? Yeah, so you can catch us online, uh, thecornivore.com, or you can come by our store, 3300 Banal. We're in the Old D's Cheesecake location. And we, uh, we have a retail spot in there. You can come in and we pop fresh every day. So everything you get in there is fresh. Okay. And we're going to get a close-up look of some of these popcorns that they okay. have to offer. Now, Robert, you also mm -hmm. mentioned before uh, during the break that you guys do fundraising. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me a little bit about that. How does that work? Well, we, we originally tried to move into a wholesale um, market because we needed something to offset the, the times when retail wasn't popular. And so we tried to go into some, a lot of stores and they all loved the popcorn, but the, the price margins were too low for us. So we had to figure out a new way. So we went into fundraising. Like how do we get to their customers without going through them? Fundraising, right? So now we split our profits with the local communities and they get our product to the people that we need to get it to. So it's an amazing program. They get 100% profit when they use our program and we actually package it up for each kid so okay. team moms don't have to sort. It's an amazing thing and we get tons of great reviews on it. Perfect. And then one last question for you. There is a campfire flavored popcorn. Mm -hmm. What does that taste like? What's in that? So this is, this actually has a funny story. This is our s'mores flavor and we were trying to create this flavor in the beginning and we just couldn't get it right. And um, I, I say this story, but we, we were also at the same time trying to create caramel. And one of the problems was we kept burning it, burning it, burning it. And so one day I grabbed a handful of burnt caramel corn and I was just kind of throwing the pieces in my mouth and I went, wow, this tastes a lot like marshmallow. You know, right? Oh. And so we we threw that burnt batch of caramel into the caramel into the campfire mix, and we took it to the downtown growers market, and people lost their freaking minds. It, it was so good. So now we have to burn it on purpose. So it was an accident mm -hmm. gone perfectly right. Absolutely, <laughs> it's one of our number one flavors. People go crazy over it. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks again so much for You're being welcome. here. For a full recap of the interview, you can head to alwaysonkrqe.com. Stay with us. Your headlines and weather are coming up right after the break.